Hello everyone, my name is Amin and I am electrical power engineer and graduate. Now I'm going to discuss about one of the phenomena of the electrical engineering industry is partial discharge. In this video I will discuss about partial discharge measurement in power cable insulation. If you find anything unclear from this video just comment below and let me know what is your questions then I will answer all these questions. Before starting the video session, I just want to inform you just hit that button below and subscribe my channel and also give me a thumbs up for helping me fight with YouTube algorithm. Okay, let's start for the session and from the first slide you see the name of today's video. Partial discharge measurement for power cables according to IEC. 60 to 70 standards. What is this standards for you will know and this video will cover only about the power cables. Let's uh, continue and PD test performance on electrical assets. In high voltage power cable partial discharge phenomena may, may occur within defects that exist in it is insulation system but where in which fields and which assets we will now from these slides power transformers rotating machines power cables instruments transformers which are industrial drives electrical components and going through with this slides the insulation uh, of the our power cables and this video will focus only for the power cables but generally overall view of the partial discharge measurement where can we do is obvious from these sections and we can do testing for these uh, electrical assets of power uh, industry with partial discharge measurement okay the insulation is normally made of a dielectrical material typically polymeric materials. The repetition of the PD activity at the defect site may cause insulation breakdown when the defect grows until it breaks the electrodes between the insulation. Consequently, breakdown of the whole cable will occur and it will be at the final stage it will be visible with your eyes that cable insulation is completely destroying. The measurement of PD activity within cable insulation system has been extensively used to monitor the condition of power cables in service. A void cavity is one of the most common PD sources and from this slides we can see where the partial discharge are normally occurring and uh, you see voids in solid insulation if we are talking about solid insulation and you don't have information what is this for uh, as I mentioned before it can be normally a polymeric, polymeric material such as uh, let's say the XLPA or nanocomposite of the power cable insulation or gas bubbles in liquid dielectrics, drained oil volume and dry paper in bushings. Entrance moisture, poor assembly of cable termination and splices, floating electrical sheets, GIS transformers. A floating electrical sheets, what does it mean? It means that something in electrical sheets, the uh, an unusual uh, occurrence and I can say it's uh, unusual because something like strange materials is including electrical sheet and it makes uh, electrical floats okay and this can be some metals or some any uh, different kind of uh, material in electrical insulation dielectrical insulation okay sparking arcing uh, due to poor connection as i mentioned before it can be occur with poor workman shape uh, due to this connection but the final is corona and surface discharge due to sharp edges or 
halogen. Why I underlined this last section? Because uh, from the different literature, we don't um, include corona discharge for the partial discharge. And uh, for that reason, I just underlined this. Some uh, literature says that the corona discharge is not a PD and uh, some literature says that corona is including for the partial discharge measurement but um, it is not our job and I will go through with this uh, two literature views and uh, I will only focus on power cable insulation deterioration okay and um, so for the next slide where PD can occur and this is the continuity of our the slides and from here we see these transformers um, oil tank this is void this is kind of insulation breakdown and uh, in transformer oil insulation and here we can see the the part of power cable and uh, here we can see different kind of uh, discharge uh, can uh, occur in power cable insulation and from this uh, view we can see the treeing what is the treeing is uh, as you see from its shape is also looking like a tree tree can be two types electrical and water treeing okay but uh, void cavity is one of the most common PD sources when a cable insulation is stressed under high electrical feed. Okay, in this slide, the measurement of PD activity with an artificial void in the insulation layer, which in cable was performed. From this slides and understanding on PD phenomenon within a void in a power cable insulation can be enhanced. Okay, electrical insulation is one of the most important parts in high voltage equipment to be maintained against mechanical, thermal and electrical stress during their operation. When there are insulation deficiencies in high voltage equipment partial discharge may occur and the effect could be harmful to the system in long term a PD is a localized discharge that the partially breaks the insulation between the conductors and here we can see the, our uh, conductor and this is the shield this is the insulation and later on we will go through uh, for these parts but here we, we can see also semiconductor layers insulation this can be polymer insulation and inner semiconductor layers and here is the same uh, conductor okay a PD is localized discharge that partially breaches the insulation between the conductors I mean only these two pictures okay in high voltage cables PD normally occurs at cable joints termination where numerous work have reported for uh, their reports like the normally we are doing as an electrical engineer we are doing the routine test or uh, if something happened in during the uh, loading it can be measured by electrical engineers defect types within insulation are usually unknown and caused by inadequate manufacturing or poor installation and that's why when we are installing the cables or uh, any uh, hardware we have to be careful it should be uh, properly tightened not for giving us discharge or any kind of uh, breakdown okay and therefore monitoring of PD activity on high voltage cable is very important and information of PD patterns from the cables with 
different types of data tags is vital. One of the ways to obtain this information is through measurement of PD on known defects or create artificial typical defects within the cable insulation. Okay, let's go to the next slide of um, the scheme of basic offline PD test connection. And normally we are doing online and offline PD measurement, but uh, overall view for basic offline PD test connection, we can see cable, uh, this is the, our power cable, let's say the power cable and high voltage power supply it can be a uh, high voltage transformer for testing and coupling capacitor, measurement impedance, detection filter and here we can see measurement instrument. Measurement instruments normally we are using LDS6 or any kind of uh, uh, hardware. It, it can vary on the company's requirements. Some companies using double uh, equipment, some companies using the rebranding double equipment as L LDIC equipment, but in any way, uh, laptop uh, computer connecting to this measurement instrument. And the next uh, slide is talking about basic online PD test connection. Okay, but we know that offline is uh, okay, we can do uh, just a PD uh, measurement with power cables before uh, installing to our switch care transformers but online it means that loaded and on working condition and uh, here we can see insulation in this part and the conductor in the middle and shades of the uh, power cable this is phase A, B, C and the, from this connection we can see that these claps three claps is joined to uh, three phases and it is going to measuring devices and this is the our earthing for three phases uh, with going through the measurement device again this is the same device phase reference is connecting and then from this scheme we are connecting to our PC. Okay, but from this view, which uh, hardware requirements for offline PD measurements? And as you see, uh, high voltage power supply is our high voltage test transformer and voltage divider blocking impedance with orange color and coupling capacitor is locating here and our test objects but this is uh, again I'm telling you that this varies for the materials varies for the test object what we are doing a PD measurement it can connect to the different uh, scheme but overall this connection is basically for offline PD measurements. Okay, going through with this uh, schematic view of test circuit and this is uh, the same schematic view for our PD measurement. As you see here is our uh, power supply which is the high transformer, high voltage transformer and uh, our load earthing and LDM our uh, measurement and PD detector but what we are typically measuring for PD testing okay and from this part we can see and this is our uh, graph for PD measurements. In this part we can see some voice and later on 
the PD measurement test result we will interpret that for these uh, the voids or these uh, we can see the curves what gives us information for uh, future research based on these uh, curves we can predict whether uh, this charts or curves coming from okay and let's say that we did our PD measurement but what we did get for the measurement typically it can separate for uh, 360 degree from zero and between these two degrees we will discover different kind of uh, voids different kind of curves in different parts let's say this void is between 270 degree and 360 degree and what does it mean i will uh, go through it this way and here we can see between 0 and 90 degree and 270 and 360 degree for c section this is again the coming from the this two degrees but different varying from these sharps okay and uh, here is also you see uh, underneath and we will interpret for these cavities and where it comes from we can see and the a b c d defects this is a needle to plane in air if we see after pd measurement we will get the uh, overall view for our uh, measurement mm, any measurement devices will give us and also software based uh, PD measurement we will get this result but after this get, uh, after getting this result we have to interpret and we have to give the comments for our uh, testing results and if we see this uh, curves giving us like this kind of view we will now this is needle to plane in a but b section it means that floating as i mentioned before floating in electrical shield this is the same curves metal to epdm shade in a and the c section uh, needle defects in an xlpe insulator okay xlpe is a kind of polymer uh, material of our uh, insulation power cable insulation and the last section and this defect gives us cavity in an epoxy epoxy interface epoxy is also the resin material of a uh, kind of insulation okay oh, but this is the outer insulation and if we see again this defect 4 we will know that cavity in this part and then we will focus on to avoid this uh, discharge from our power uh, cables and uh, I use these references if you want to go through with this uh, sources I will uh, put on the description and you can go through it this way as well and you can understand deeply if you have something unclear from this video that's all for today if you find this video informative just hit that button below again and subscribe this channel and also give me a thumbs up for helping me to fight with youtube algorithm if you want me to make this kind of informative video in the future just comment below and give your impression okay and again if you have some questions just comment below later on i will answer your questions take care and see you in next video bye bye